Hello, and welcome to this first activity in our course, Teaching English to Adults. In this course, we're obviously going to take a look at uh, how uh, adult learners uh, go ahead and, and learn a second language, specifically English, and also how we can devise a diversity of strategies in order to help them in this process of learning a second language. However, before we get to all of those elements, which are also coming up in the following units, more precisely starting on unit uh, two, uh, in this unit, in this activity, we're going to take a look at how babies learn their first language, their mother tongue. Now, the reason for this is because as babies, we actually have all of the cognitive skills and all of the contextual exposure that we need to have in order to learn the first language, which is so critical to our very existence. If you think about it, a baby that does not know how to speak, how to listen, understand what the language is, how to speak and produce verbally what he or she wants, just those two skills, the baby can't thrive in our society. So learning the first language is crucial. It, it, you could say it is, it is, your life is on the balance, if you will. Luckily for us, we are born with a richness of strategies, of contextual information, of people that support us throughout the first years of life so that we can, so that language learning can be guaranteed. So there's a diversity of elements there that we want to take a look at from that very first experience, from a very general perspective, of course. And that is important because that's the foundation of our first language, of language learning in general. Now, surely there are many differences when we're talking or comparing babies with adults. Uh, the obvious reason or the obvious difference would be age. Uh, the age, of course, is enormously different. The, the cognitive development that happens in a baby versus that of an adult is totally opposite. The contextual elements, the situational elements, uh, family responsibilities, uh, you know, uh, having your own, having to work, having uh, the, the need to have friends, uh, whereas a baby is just really dependent on uh, what his or her mother and father can provide. So there, there's a lot of differences that, that, that we're going to take a look at, and that's just kind of setting up the, the, the gate as we start going here. So in this first activity, we're going to take a couple of, we're going to take a look at just some general uh, uh, learning theories based on first language acquisition. And just to give you a, a short list of what you're going to be looking at here is uh, the behaviorist uh, theory. Uh, so you probably already viewed uh, behaviorist, which uh, leads to uh, audio lingual and how that works. It's very influential. It was influential here in Mexico to the point where uh, our educational system was based on this theory. It's outdated now, but still they got a lot of things right. And it, it is always worth taking a look back at and double checking what they got right and what still applies today. We're also going to take a look at the innatist uh, theory or approach, and we want to also remember that the critical period hypothesis is embedded into that. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at, at what that means, what that represents, and note that the critical period hypothesis is going to be part of what you need to deliver for this first activity. Uh, another theory we're going to take a look at here briefly is the interactionist approach or theory, and we're going to take a look at what they believe, how they view first language acquisition, which is totally different to behaviorist also, which is also very much different to the innatist approach. So interactionists have a, a, an external perspective, innatists have an internal perspective. That right there will give you a uh, a very broad difference. And lastly, we'll take a look at the connectionist. Also, trying to combine the internal with the external, but still, they also provide some very interesting ideas that uh, we can learn a lot from and take into account as we start going into our course, as we ultimately end up in trying to figure out 
how adult learners learn a second language and how we can best teach them. All right. So with that said, let's get going.